Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 26th day of January 2023, and our topic for today says, For an appointed time. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords, our God who has no equal, our God who sits in heaven and makes the earth his footstool, the grand commander of the universe. We worship and we bless your majesty. We say receive our praise, our worship and our adoration in Jesus' name. We are gathered before you today again as your children, desirous of a word from you. We ask that you would speak that word to us today and let that word be healing to many. Let that word be transformation, let it be encouragement and let it be a specific word for someone today as we receive from you. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jawa, come back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. Habakkuk 2 verse 3 reads, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. And our text for today is from the same book of Habakkuk chapter 2. We'll be reading now from verse 2 to 4. Habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 2 to 4 reads, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 2 to 4. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today says, For an appointed time. And in the body of our devotional for today, we have our Father in the Lord speaking to us. He says that the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 13 verse 12, Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. He says to us, You may have really been hoping for something, but have not gotten it yet, and your heart is beginning to feel sick. Beloved, summon up strength and keep hope alive. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 says that every vision is for an appointed time. Your appointed time will soon come in the name of Jesus. While waiting for their appointed time, Many people do things that put a dent in their testimonies. In Genesis chapter 16 verse 2, Sarah asked Abraham to have an extramarital affair with her maid so that the young girl could have a child for him. Sarah gave up hope and compromised. She later regretted it when her appointed time came and she now had her own child. In Genesis chapter 21 verse 10, she told Abraham to send the maid away with her son. Beyond that, I am sure when she looks down from heaven now and sees some of the seeds of that maid attacking her own seeds, she would wish she had kept hope alive. While waiting for your appointed time, just ensure you are obeying every instruction of God to the letter, whether it makes sense or not. Many years ago, we were offered the chance to buy all 40 acres of a serene campground called the youth camp for 100,000 naira. That was a lot of money back then. I gathered my people together and we prayed quoting the scripture Joshua chapter 1 verse 3 which reads, Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. We put off our shoes and walked round the campground praying and confessing that it was ours by faith. Not long afterwards, another ministry heard that the property was available for sale and they promptly paid for it. Our hopes were dashed, but I encouraged myself in the Lord 
and kept hope alive. Before long, God led us to where the redemption camp is situated. Though then it was notorious for being a home for highway robbers and big snakes, we trusted in the Lord and purchased the first parcel of land that has grown to become Redemption City today. The Redemption City now sits on an expanse of land far greater than what we had earlier wanted to purchase. Thank God that we kept hope alive for our appointed time. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says, For an appointed time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 tells us that to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. You would agree with me that everyone has thoughts, plans and intentions in their hearts. It is a new year and for so many of us, we have had goals and plans written down. We have made resolutions. We have set for ourselves tasks and assignments, probably with even deadlines, hoping to achieve them as our targets. For some others, probably over the years we have been trusting God for something very specific without it coming to pass. This word is for you. Our memory verse for today from the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 says that the vision is yet for an appointed time. It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. That vision God has given you, that promise he has made, carries his integrity. He says, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Hallelujah. The scripture reads in Job chapter 14 verse 14 that all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Our memory verse for today says the vision is yet for an appointed time. And this is true of every promise that God has made to us. In our study today, we see the consequence of not waiting for our appointed time. For so many of us, we may be in haste, we want it today and now. Mother Sarah knows better now. When you have a word from God, you can take it to the bank. His word never bounces back. And when the time is right, that testimony would even exceed your expectations. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 reads in part that he had made everything beautiful in his time. Do not forget that we said earlier from the same book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, reading from verse 1, that to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Keeping hope alive would usher you into the beautiful manifestation of God's promises to you. That scripture again, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 says, He had made everything beautiful in his time. And I pray for us today in the name of Jesus, that as we choose to trust him who has promised, all things would be turned around and made beautiful at God's time without delay, in Jesus' name. Barriers to receiving our blessings at God's appointed time include unbelief, fear and doubt, giving up hope and compromise, like we see in the case of Sarah. Our Father in the Lord today says that she gave up hope and compromised. Some of God's promises may require that we wait. Do not forget it is called an appointed time. He loves us so much he would give that blessing to us at the best time appropriate for us to have it. Unconsciously, we may be praying some prayers for certain blessings that we are not ripe for. But what he would do is to make us wait a little while he prepares us to be able to accommodate that blessing. This is why what we do while we wait is very important. For Sarah, she must have given in to fear and doubt. She was well advanced in age. Childbearing was already impossible for her biologically but it was God who had promised her. Hence, her hopes should have been anchored on his integrity. When God calls us to wait, while we wait on God for that appointed time, we must ensure to feed ourselves with faith boosters while blocking every avenue for unbelief. We must avoid trying to help or assist God. Romans chapter 4, verse 20, talking about our father Abraham, says he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Verse 21 says, And being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able to perform. If God has promised, you don't have to bother how it would come to pass. That is left to the all-knowing and all-wise God to handle. 
if he could part the Red Sea and create dry ground for his people, surely there is nothing he cannot do. If he can bring money out of the mouth of a fish, who says your provisions cannot be met? If he can feed thousands with a few loaves of bread and fishes, who says he cannot multiply what is in your hands at the moment to make it even more than sufficient for you? Hannah was considered barren, but at the appointed time, God gave her a son who made her forget all her years of sorrow. Today we still talk about the prophet Samuel. Where are the sons of her rival Penina? As we wait on God today, we trust him to give us resounding testimonies that would cause ears to tingle and would once again strengthen our faith in Jesus' name. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and appreciate the Lord. Say, Father, thank you for the plans that you have towards me. Scripture says they are of good and not of evil. His thoughts towards us is to bring us to an expected end. At his appointed time, he intends to give us those things that eyes have not seen, things that ears have not heard, things that have never entered into the heart of man. Say, Father, we are grateful. Now we begin to ask him for the grace to wait upon him. Our memory verse says we should wait because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Ask him today for the staying grace, the grace to hold on to his promises as our anchor, the grace to have our hearts at peace while we wait on him. Ask the Lord to grant unto us in the name of Jesus. Also be asking the Lord today that our trust would be totally placed on him, that we will not be seeking for alternatives. Ask him that we will not in any way try to help ourselves, that it is either God or God. Father, we bless your name. Unto you who answers prayers will all flesh come. Thank you for being our God who is faithful and able to perform that which he has promised. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we are grateful for such words of reassurance that you have brought our way today. We lay all of our cares and our burdens at your feet and we choose to trust in you who never fails. We declare in the name of Jesus that we step into our season of reigns of answers to prayer. We step into our appointed time. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that says, Your appointed time is coming. Don't give up. And we declare today that our appointed time is here in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Exodus chapter 35 down to chapter 37. Hallelujah. We want to thank you and appreciate you for once again joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone, or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 21 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, Standing on the Promises of Christ my King. As you go forth today, begin to step into prepared testimonies in the name of Jesus. Have an awesome day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now.
I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.